What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you running iOS 12.4 and possibly 12.3.1 and 12.3 as well, because iOS 12.4 does share the same security contents with the iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3. A jailbreak has been achieved by security researcher Proteus Wong in here just a few days ago. He posted this picture in here, which is basically a terminal window of what appears to be iOS 12.4 connected via SSH to the computer, and as you can see in here, he also runs the uname a command to confirm the version of the kernel, the XNU kernel, and then he also runs kext stat in here, which basically shows the uh, kext or kernel extensions in the memory that are currently active. So with only this picture in here, he confirms the fact that he has SSH access to the iOS 12.4 on his device, which iOS 12.4 is currently the only signed version because yes, just a few days ago, Apple stopped signing iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3, leaving only iOS 12.4 currently signed and you can only downgrade or upgrade to iOS 12.4 for the moment and of course to the iOS 13 beta 5, but you shouldn't do that. But anyways, he does prove in here the fact that he does have SSH. This means that he does have a TFP0 kernel exploit for iOS 12.4 and the good thing is that if he has one for 12.4, this will probably also work for iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 as well, these in here, because the security contents of iOS 12.4, which were posted on July 22nd, which incidentally is the same date he posted this in here, basically showed that there is absolutely no change in the kernel compared to iOS 12.3.1. There are no new bugs that would render TFP0 and so on that were patched. So in terms of security, iOS 12.4, 12.3.1 and possibly 12.3 share the same kernel. This is actually confirmed by Derek, if you remember he got TFP0 on iOS 12.3.1 with a bug that was a little bit unstable back on June 23rd. But on July 24, basically a month after that, he posted quote, still works on iOS 12.4. He puts works in speech marks because the success rate is so low, but it still works, which confirms the fact that iOS 12.3.1 and 12.4 share the same kernel in terms of security. So whatever Proteus has in here that he managed to use in order to get at least a partial jailbreak working on iOS 12.4 is very likely working on 12.3.1 and 12.3 as well. Now there is no word for the moment on a release, but this is actually pretty good news because he managed to get SSH, which is actually quite far advanced in the jailbreak process, you need to basically nuke the um, core trust or you can fake sign your binaries, then you need of course to escape your sandbox, you need to get root and so on, so at that point you basically patch the kernel and your root and you can run custom binaries like the one he uses in here, probably drop beer, so definitely far advanced. It's not quite Cydia yet and for the A12 devices that would be a problem because the trick injection is actually quite tricky to get working on the uh, A12, but for the rest of the devices a jailbreak would be pretty easy to make at this point. So yeah. I'm definitely waiting to see what's going on and what he's going to post. But yeah, for the moment, this is a big achievement. This is basically the first iOS 12.4 final version jailbreak that has been achieved. I will keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community, so do not forget to subscribe to stay updated and also enable the notifications and make sure that you select to receive all the notifications. Otherwise, YouTube will only send you personalized notifications when they believe that you might want to see one, but that may be too late for a jailbreak. So, please enable the notifications. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, and until the next time, peace out.